seconds and counting. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Nisha. I'm joining with Roman, and we have some news for y'all. The Texans are training Keon Cross into the New York Giants for a 2023 sixth round pick. And Keon Crossan, he, uh, this was his like first year of being like an actual cornerback instead of just being solely special teams. He started a career high in 46 tackles and five passes defensed last season. And he played a career high of 28% of the overall defensive snaps and also played 59% of the special team snap, uh, special teams snaps and i think creon crossing he was solid for us i think he was better than hargers and gains last season but i am getting a six round pick for him is pretty solid i know he, it would have been nice to have him as a depth piece but what are your thoughts on this move oh uh, yeah i wasn't really expecting it um i thought Keon cross was probably going to be one of the one of the main core guys for special teams for the houston texans um he's probably one of our best special teamers and he really embraced the city and embraced Houston uh, and embraced the team as well. Um, it was kind of surprising as a set of C, but I mean, getting a six-round pick mainly for a special teams guy back, it's not the worst thing. Um, the the six-round pick is a 2023 six, and I would have preferred a 2022, but I mean, it is what it is. But um, seeing this trade, maybe they have more more faith and hope in um, other guys like Tremont Smith, uh, Tavier Thomas. He had a few good reps against the Packers um, for this previous Saturday. Um, John Reed, uh, maybe even Vernon Hargraves. But um, yeah, it's kind of unexpected in my opinion, but it's not the worst move. Yeah, Keon Cross is a very energetic and athletic guy. Um, he, do- he obviously had some issues like biting on double fakes or – um kind of not being just like it was his first time like kind of being a defensive guy so a lot of these like looks that he was against it was like for the first time I guess so um so Keon Cross I think he can he he has room to improve as a defensive back and this is just yet another instance of um Nick Casario trading with New England um connects and Joe Judge was a special teams coordinator in New England um, when Keon Crossan was there. And so, um, so yeah, this is yet another uh, of Nick Casario trading with people who he's familiar with. And um, so, yeah, another, some more stats on Keon Crossan. He allowed a 57.1% um, completion percentage, allowed one touchdown. And he mainly got the, his opportunity after Bradley Roby was suspended. But <clears throat> Keon Crossan, if there's any Giants fans watching this, I think he's a solid um, depth piece as a cor- as a corner. Special teams, I'm sure he's fine. Um, our special teams, um, special teams for the Texans has always been solid, no matter what the year is. Um, I mean, I think there's only one year it was like not that good, but usually it's been solid. So I think he'll be a nice special teams piece for you to add. And um, now we have um, four six round picks in the next two years, and we know how Nick Casario does with these late round picks so he might pair package these picks for to move up in the draft or something like that but but yeah we got a six from the Randall Cobb trade a six from Keon Crossan and this is just Nick Casero trying to reduce the roster um at least to 85 by tomorrow and so that's pretty much it for the video let us know your thoughts on this move and as always be sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications thank you all for watching peace